Simone Weber, whom I know. Yes. Hello, Hemming. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello. Yes, nice to meet you. So, do you know, do you know Christopher Bolin? He did some yes. work on. Oh, he's a really good friend of mine. He and his wife. Yeah. Yes, um, uh, they, they had been to me too, and, and they had been in my uh, summer house, and I helped them a lot. But uh, uh, then I, I got a very negative um, experience with both um, uh, when it uh, came uh, to more um, publicity in the MS Estonia case, and, and it showed that uh, they both were engaged in, in the secret services. He most likely for the Mossad and his wife for the military secret service in Sweden. So we haven't any contact any longer. I was very, very... Oh, sorry. that's what happened to me. Oh. I, I brought them to California and I introduced them to a Manhattan Project scientist I worked with. And um, he wrote articles about me and he said he'd been married to an Israeli woman and lived in Israel, but he didn't like it, he, he said. Um, and, then, um, and then she was, uh, they were working together, and then um, somebody told me she was working for the CIA, and uh, they finally had to leave the United States, and um, he was rather hostile to me, so... I, I think that it's correct that they're working for intelligence agencies. I think they don't make it deliberately, but, but they are under severe mind control. And, yes. And, and they are a tool, um, uh, unfortunately. And, and his research on 9-11 is deliberate, uh, del deliberately uh, uh, focusing only on the thermit, but non, not on the scalar weapons. Uh, from the research from Dr. Judy Woods, and there you see that he is uh, kind of making a cover-up on that high level. But the thermite is a subterfuge, and uh, the actual material um, is... Uh, thermite was invented at the Lawrence, Liver Lawrence Livermore lab, where I worked as a geoscientist. Yeah. And they also made fourth generation nuclear weapons there, in other words, the neutron bomb. And it is uh, physically constructed in sandwich layers exactly like thermite. So Stephen Jones, um, uh, Webster Tarpley, and, um, uh, who, and uh, the... Um, uh, the older guy with the gray hair, uh, they're the three, Griffin. yes, David, David Griffin, they are the three popes of 9-11, but they're all working for intelligence. Webster yeah. Tarpley worked for Lyndon LaRouche. Mm -hmm. LaRouche, it took me a long time to figure out who he's working for. He's Jesuit uh, trained. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, David Ray Griffin is CIA. I hate him. And um, um, let's see, who's the third one? Um, we were just, you just named him. Um, uh, Bolin. Who? Bolin. Oh, uh, no, not, no, Bolin is not one of the popes of three. Oh, oh. Uh, Richard Gage John, from the uh, architects and engineers for 9 11. Richard Gage. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know who he is, but um, Jones, Jones, Jones. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, Alex Utah, Jones, uh, the, no. the Utah guy who was the physicist, not Alex Jones. Um, uh, the physicist of nine eleven. Well, there, there, there is a Niels Harriet from Denmark as well. Uh, well, anyway, those three are all. Uh, that guy is with a physicist is working for the Department of Energy and the CIA. Uh, guys, I would like to interrupt you and 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 uh, I think the 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 magical meaning of you two right now being on the line is something. While why I am having this conference now, also magically on the first and second of September, when Christopher Busby, Professor Christopher Busby, has turned seventy yesterday, and I'm dressed in red today because he likes the red color and uh, I have been working with him for six years and <clears throat> I have to tell you Henning I haven't t told you that 
I have told Lorraine uh, a couple of days ago, that he is definitely under mind control, heavy mind control, because under the last two months he had become suddenly severely hostile and is destroying all of the work we have done. Oh, horrible. But, but he was under mind control when Fukushima happened. I was working with him then. And, um, but not this terribly. He's right now really destroying, mm, destroying all the companies that we created, me and him. And he is also destroying me personally by trying to sort of uh, get me out of my only house and all sorts of things that only CIA <laughs> could wish, you know. Really, now when we are so close to to fix everything, suddenly this fabulous man, this genius has, uh, and it's such a brilliant tool. Really, you get into the person's mind, and through that person, the person himself dismantles everything they created. It's very. Uh, do you know anything how to stop that, Henning? Yes. How? Uh, the, the only remedy we, 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 we could um, test positive was uh, homeopathic gold, aurum metallicum. And, and there you should take three potencies at once, every morning and every night. And, and in 80% of the uh, victims, the targeted individuals, this is giving a good shielding. Three potencies, what does that mean? Uh, uh, homeopathic remedies have different potencies. They, they can start with D12, D30, D100, D200, and then C100, C200, and so on. Um, uh, <clears throat> and, and there you, you have uh, to take three different, because the gold is giving a frequency shield against the radiation, the scalar waves they use in mind control. Okay, okay. And this has to be... The counteracts the scalar waves mm -hmm. and this has to be it counteracts the scalar waves it sabotages the scalar waves this has to be taken in uh, on regular basis yeah yes because the shielding is only uh, uh, during about 24 hours and then it's disappearing so you have to take it every morning and every evening so I'll be throwing a, a feast the jubileum feast on Sunday on the farm I hope he comes, and then he'll get such a present from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Latvia is very um, uh, good developed when it comes to homeopathy. It's yeah, yeah, it's fabulous. And, and it's not very expensive. It's no. about 10 euro, one little bottle, and you need three only. Uh, the, the most problematic thing is uh, they have programmed the TIs, uh, to refuse the gold, uh, it would not help, and it would make sick, and so on. They can program so, even that through yes, through mind when, control. Yes, when we went public with that uh, some year ago, shortly afterwards we, we got the first problems and hints that they were programming against this. Um, so the problem is to convince him to take. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a problem. That is, yeah. Anyway, uh, we can do only what we can do. We can do our best. Yes. Alfred Lambermore Weber and I and, and, and Magnus Olson, we made an interview about that when, uh, when, when Alfred uh, uh, asked us about um, uh, what's happening in, in this UK, the European Commission Against Covert Harassment uh, um, Association we started uh, three years ago uh, uh, to together uh, uh, the targeted individuals and to, to help them. And um, uh, so, so, so the, the, the internet information is out, but uh, it's not spreading so well, unfortunately. Yeah, and then you had this um, researcher who was talking about the chipping of people, the chips. And yes, the, 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 that is Simon Parks. Uh, Lauren, have you heard about Simon Parks? Um, well, I, I worked at the nuclear weapons labs where they developed all this stuff, so I know about it. But um, a scientist, a physicist I know, told me that in the 1970s they were tracking people by their DNA yeah, in, yeah. In, in the laboratories. And so they are actually tracking people by satellite uh, uh, through their DNA and yeah. and these nanoparticles of uranium and everything are sticking to the DNA and the RNA 
because they're chemically attracted to the phosphate structures in the RNA and DNA. And they, nanoparticles are antennas. They transmit and receive, and every person has a unique signal. Yes. And so that's how they're really tracking people. It, and even the DNA itself, or the RNA, uh, uh, they are antennas for scalar waves. They can beam, yes. uh, emit scalar waves and receive scalar waves. That's right. And they are actually... Uh, transforming the human race. I did an R I did a two-hour interview with uh, Dr. Wynne Parker of uh, Parker's Pathways in the Beltway in Washington, D.C., and there was a huge response. 3,000 German scientists emailed <laughs> their radio station, and um, the um, he said that the, I, I asked him, why is this uh, uh, discovery that UC Berkeley made that in a laboratory that these nanoparticles are transmitters, antennas? He, he sort of gulped and he said, he was really shocked when I asked him that. And he said, well, uh, they're, they're redeveloping, they're redesigning the human race. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, they're altering the DNA and the chromosomes with these antennas. Yes, that's right. That's uh, they were, uh, the goal is the transhumanism. Yes. And cyborgs. Yes. Yes. But and transhumanism came from um, the Carpathians from uh, Transylvania, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a part of Czechoslovakia, or Czechoslovakia is a part of it, and it was the Svoboda uh, program uh, with the serfs. Uh, during the Habsburg Empire, and um, it was a form of slavery. And so that is actually, that's really what they mean by transhumanism. They're referring to that program, but they're artificially creating it uh, by altering the, the chromosomes on the DNA. But it's the same thing. It's complete enslavement of the human race. Not all of it. Uh, the the ruling elite will not be. But uh, Bertrand Russell said in the 1930s at Oxford, um, and he was uh, one of the insiders in the Vienna School where all these crazy ideas came from, including the template for nuclear weapons. One plan developed by the Jesuits was distributed by a Viennese chemical engineer called Fritz Hansker, uh, in the 1930s, he left um, Vienna and he went with a Japanese scientist back to Japan and set up the Japanese nuclear weapons program. And they detonated that nuclear bomb three days after Nagasaki, but they did it up in northern the northern part of Korea. Yes. And, and Hansker gave the same nuclear weapons plan to every country that was developing them because all of their nuclear weapons designs are exactly the same way. The, the way the, um, the uh, fuel cells uh, are geometrically arranged in the, in the reactor core, many similarities, and I got that out of a declassified CIA document by the CIA's radiation and nuclear weapons expert. So I said, well, who sponsored Hansker? Because he lived in Asia. He came to the United States. He set up the nuclear weapons program here. He worked with Ernest Lawrence. He set up a magnesium factory, which is what they use to extract uranium from ore. He gave it to England. He gave it to Austria. He gave it to Germany. Uh, then he went to Manchuria. He gave it to the Soviet Union. And it was one pro, uh, program, and I said, okay, who, who sponsored him? And I discovered it was an industrialist from Pittsburgh named uh, Emil F. Winter. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's a weird name. So I started looking it up. Well, he was born in Dusseldorf. Yeah. And nope. that's in Hesse, and his Parents' middle name, family name, was Bauer. 
that's Rothschild before they renamed themselves Rothschild. Oh, well, 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 there, there are a lot of German families who were named Bauer. That, that is not automatically Rothschild. <laughs> no, no, no. There are other indications it was Rothschild. And when I found his obituary, it had his mausoleum. Uh, he built it for 10 years before he died. And it was completely an ISIS ancient Egyptian temple with all the signs and symbols. Mm -hmm. And that means... That is the new world order. Yeah. Well, my research, I'm German, shows that it was uh, the scientists um, under Hitler uh, who developed the atomic bomb. And they put it on uh, submarines, uh, and they had already rockets developed uh, from Werner von Braun, who could uh, transport uh, the atomic bomb with a rocket from a submarine uh, lying several um, uh, at the east coast of the United States. And um, this threat uh, led to a deal which Hitler made with the United States and Great Britain. And the deal was the United States get the atomic bomb and on the other hand all the high-ranking Nazis are allowed to take asylum wherever they want in the world. And therefore, uh, Hitler went to Argentina, Mengele went to Argentina, Bormann went to England, and so on. And so the, the te original technology from the atomic bomb is coming from German research, and they got it from not non-human uh, sources. That's an, that's an interesting theory. Non-human sources. Yes, it was the, the draconian reptilian who wanted that, that the, the Earth is getting this technology, they could not give it and drop it because then it is obvious that they are um, in charge and that <clears throat> they are, have, have the research. So they, they channeled it through German media, uh, uh, psychic uh, persons, uh, into the scientists of Germany because they were leading at that uh, point in the world. And, and uh, uh, so it was camouflaged. Mm. And that's, that's why you have always the same technology, because it's one source. Mm -hmm. uh, Lorraine has very interesting theory in this about Iranians. We, we went through it in the previous hour. But I would like to, to go on and um, ask you two questions that uh, we could elaborate here. One of them is, uh, of course, I don't know, do you see me, guys? No. No, you don't. Anyway, I have this brooch, um, not to forget ever, that the most important thing for us is to give people real money, yeah, that they, that they control themselves, e local real money. And uh, so you are really exquisite researchers and... Uh, <clears throat> as uh, the important solution to all um, criminalization of systems of nuclear war is anyway to take control over the systems of our work and creation of real money. I had um, today, um, ch I was checking Alex Jones with this fabulous um, work right now that they did and uh, that was, uh, they were expecting the nearest weeks, the whole financial system to collapse. Mm -hmm. And and they were talking also about money and the next Bretton Woods that I have been talking about for five years at least. And uh, that um, <clears throat> the base for this money can never, should never be gold. And that it should be... <clears throat> Um, a co collaborative uh, money made through communication of the leaders of nations and it has to be arranged as soon as possible and um, <clears throat> um, what is your take on this question how do we create real money you ask me or Lorraine? Yeah, you could start, Henning, please. Yes, uh, so um, uh, the problem is that uh, when, when you had the gold uh, standard, uh, there was too little gold. It, it was better than now when the money was backed up with gold, but it was not good. 
you had a lot of deflation problems because you couldn't dig up enough gold to pay the people. Uh, then they changed and, and now uh, the, the money is backed up with debt. Uh, every uh, uh, digital or, or even um, uh, cash money which is created is created by the banks loaning it into the society. And this is the most awful system we ever had because they only uh, create um, the, the, the loan but not the interest. So you always have to pay back more than is created and th therefore you are always short in the society about money. And uh, besides that they have a kind of um, uh, Ponzi scheme where they shuffle up real worth, not money. Uh, to the top of the pyramid, and that's why a uh, few is very rich and, and the most of the people are poor. Um, so the, the, the key is um, that you should see money in another way, that money is given because somebody has worked. So you have to back up money with work, with labor. And uh, uh, that means um, tell you. you have to, to nationalize the money, but not the banks. Because nowadays, is Lorraine with us? Lorraine, are you with us? I, I, yeah, I think so. Do you yeah, think? Okay, but the camera went off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and um, uh, when you back up money with labor, you have no problem with inflation or deflation, and you must make it centralized. In the United States, you have it in in the um, uh, um, Constitution that it is the government doing it, that is not the best way because uh, the power to create money is the most powerful part in the democracy. You should put that to the central bank and the central bank should be publicly, uh, publicly owned and controlled by the people with elections as you elect government. So uh, we be in Germany call it the monetative, uh, 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 a, a, a fourth pillar in the democracy besides uh, the, 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 the judges, uh, the parliament and, and the government, you have uh, the money creating power uh, and, and, and this must be directly controlled by the people and nobody else. And they have the monopoly to make digital money and cash money and that, then you have a very good way. In the United States it's an attorney called Alan Hodgson Brown who got the best ideas and Bill Still. Yeah. Free copy of my and this guy that, they, that Alex Jones was using is called Harry Dent. Harry Dent. I yeah. don't know him. Yeah, um, so they have also very fabulous um, work. And Lorraine, could you elaborate on this subject, please? Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine? Uh huh. Uh, I think we have problem there. I'll have to call her again. So you can go on, Henning, and tell tell a bit more about your vision on creating money. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the little uh, 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 republic Iceland in, in in the northern Atlantic was only about three hundred thousand people. They show the way how to go. Because the people in Iceland, uh, uh, throughout the banks, they, 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 they uh, locked them uh, into jail sometimes, and, and uh, the, the corrupt politicians. And the, the, this March uh, 2015, they um, started, they launched a um, reform uh, in the Icelandic parliament uh, to nationalize the money exactly as Bill Still, uh, or Ellen Hodgson Brown and I uh, propose. Okay, now I will have to put down this conversation. I'll call Lorraine first because the, uh, yes. this didn't work previous time as well.
Yeah, hello, Henny. I'm back. But uh, Lorraine, unfortunately, is not with us. Um, there is some trouble with her um, telephone system, uh, with her with the internet line. Um, I'll try later. Um, generally, we are discussing now um, this um, possibility of, uh, instead of going through this... Um, democracy parliament um, structure to use this indigenous route and Lorraine is very keen on it um, so the methodology here is that um, we create a network of indigenous uh, kings sort of the, the leaders of indigenous groups, yeah? And uh, these people are, by their uh, capacity and uh, competence, capable of giving orders. And uh, through a network of these capable leaders you can take a unified decision of uh, creating other money for example that a network of indigenous tribes little kingdoms to start with create some kind of money system for example and create but the mo the main method is not just money they can make take any decisions and then these decisions have to be implemented by the local powers that are the democratic parliamentary powers through this um, convention of declaration of uh, the rights of indigenous people you see yeah the, the problem is that you were um have difficulties uh, to, to, to find those uh, and, and th that others accept that. Um, uh, I, I, I think it will not be a practical way to go and even if you go that way um, uh, you have the problem with mind control. Yes. As, as long as you do not uh, build up a good shielding against it, they will always find some of the people you have found and made your kings, which they will put under mind control. Uh, so so th 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 that is uh, the key issue when you start a new political party or political system. You need to share Lorraine? mind control. No, I couldn't get her. Uh, yeah. The key issue is... So, 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 and, 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 and the problem is who says, who gives the definition for who is the indigenous king and who, who is the best and so on. That is very, very difficult. In, in my uh, I, I will just answer straight directly that it is not difficult. It is enough the people themselves know and, and then you have to just check if they have the, the solutions, if they have worked out the methodology and if they ha ha if they can offer leadership really you there are par parameters to check that and if the if the people themselves know that they are indigenous they have methodology and they can take responsibility and claim uh, themselves uh, loyal to those tribes and present some type of loyalty contracts and 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 uh, swear loyalty to those tribes, you know. That is good enough. You are trying to invent, uh, reinvent the, the kingdom system. I prefer always to make a reform uh, uh, from what you already have. Yeah, yeah, but we have tried. It didn't work. And we in Latvia here, we, we don't have any time more, for example. 
we have uh, half of our population, most of the fertile people, have left the country. That's right, yes. We cannot wait anymore to reform this system that is killing us. So we are trying this method and it is working. So, and, and, and uh, for example, and many, many people have already, um, many leaders of other tribes have already uh, been working in, through this method. And uh, it seems to be a good path to try. How many kings have you already found? At least three, three, three nines. Three nines is the Latvian expression of amount that is substantial. You can use it even as three times nine or nine 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 as nine hundred ninety nine. Yeah, but I mean the three times nine this time. But um, I can't reach Lorraine. Probably she has some kind of uh, internet problem. As, because she says they are under severe attack there in America. They are really um, having... Uh, she says that she has to spend most of her time in the toilet because they are destroying their gut system through some waves and whatnot. So... We are lucky, Henning, still here in uh, Europe. Yes, we are. In the United States, it's worse. Yeah. So, so, um, and uh, probably they have gotten to her internet when they noticed that we are yes. working so well now. Yes, that's probably. But um, I wanted to to elaborate another very important subject with her, and that was um, the matrix of systems of uh, nuclear w war, matrix of systems of nuclear war, in which the banking is in, of course, yeah? Mm. But, uh, but we didn't get the chance to, to get through onto that subject. Well, and, and, and you must always know that the most mighty weapon on, uh, weapons on Earth is not longer the atomic weapons, but the scalar weapons. Remember what happened in Tinian Harbor in China the 12th of August? Uh huh. Uh, th there was a huge explosion in this harbor, Tinian, which is very close to Peking. Oh. And, and uh, 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 yeah, you should look to white TV. I, I, I had a, 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 an article on that. Uh, 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 no, nobody could really explain how this extremely huge explosion could happen. Thousands of people died. The, the Chinese government is also covering it up. There was a huge crater after that, and, and a lot of cars were, were burned in the same way uh, as it, they were in, in, in the surrounding of, of the World Trade Center during 9-11, where they also, besides the thermite, used scalar weapons. And with scalar weapons, you can uh, uh, destroy every atomic bomb in their silos already, which happened uh, when when uh, uh, the the, the um, atomic catastrophe from Chernobyl was in eighty six. Yeah. Uh, uh, they they destroyed uh, um, uh, the, the the reactor with scalar weapons from the United States. So you, you, the, the atomic bombs is not the big uh, risk. The, the big uh, danger is the scalar weapons, and nobody is all. all almost knowing about it or talking about it. Yeah. So, generally, we could add to this uh, the scale of weapons then, yeah? Yes. So, the, so we, we should the, criminalize not only the, the atomic war, yes. but also the scale of war. Yes. Could you please, Henning, take yourself uh, a task to write a couple of lines about this, so we could add yeah. this uh, scale of war... Um, but it will take some time. I'm, I'm totally overwhelmed with, with, with tasks and, and, and attacks and, and work. Yeah, but anyway, then I could just write it right now. So if I write it now, what, what do we write? So, so that... Um, well, well, the, the most... Uh, criminalization of what? Of all kinds of scalar weapons. Or, or Tesla weapon. You, the, the, the same name would be Tesla weapon, Nikola Tesla. Scalar weapons, or in a, in brackets, uh, Nikola Tesla weapons, yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. And w what is this? I I wouldn't even know what that really is. 
Uh, you, you have to go uh, to, to the website from uh, a retired Lieutenant Colonel Tom Bearden in the United States. Tom Bearden. Yeah, I write it here in the chat. Tom. Yeah, he has a lot of information even on YouTube on, on, on those weapons. Scalar interferometry. Mm -hmm. That means you, you have two sources of scalar waves and, and uh, you, you beam them away and let them meet wherever the, the goal is and, and then when they meet there's interference with those scalar weapons and then they can make an implosion and everything is very cold or an explosion and, and destroy much more as any atomic bomb can. Okay. And, and, and they have used this in China, you say, yeah? Yes. That is the most likely explanation. Others say uh, uh, it, it was a kind of, of, of um, uh, space weapon the United States used, uh, but, but the most likely is they used scalar weapons. And, and as a reaction, there was an attack to an American facility on Japanese ground uh, one week later about, where a huge explosion destroyed a lot of American supply and some soldiers and now recently in china again in, in, in another province was a huge explosion but not as huge as the first the 12th of august so there, there is obviously a kind of invisible war between china and the united states already because china devaluated their uh, renminbi their, their currency uh, one day before the 11th of august and there was a huge threat through the financial domination of the united states yes that's the same thing that alex jones said that right now united states or rather nato is having war both with the russia and china yes exactly and uh hmm so, um, I, I'm not getting in Lorraine anymore. That's very, very sad because uh, she had enormous preparations for this conversation. Mm. Uh, for two days she has been preparing and she did only half of what she had prepared. Uh, Is this a live, live show? Uh, no, not really. Uh, but um, her... Uh, um, uh, corporate uh, corporate um, partner was film video filming it as well on that side in the United States mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> I'm video filming on my little camera and I will put it into YouTube video and it is not Alfred Landemann Weber who is her partner but somebody else uh, his name was Lawrence okay no I don't know yeah. mm -hmm. um, but um, they were talking that you could uh, Skype record this event. Do you know how to do that? Well, with my Macintosh computer, it is very easy because on QuickTime you have a function uh, with uh, screen filming. Okay, you need QuickTime there. That's what that's what they were telling, and they had Macintoshes. And we yes. could, we were trying to find it on mine, but I don't have it. But, okay. but there are other programs for for PCs doing the same but I forgot the name yeah okay okay and uh, <clears throat> so I would like to elaborate this uh, issue about the systems of nuclear war that we need to criminalize so when I'm uh, trying to generalize the systems I come to following um, description that is quite sort of simple it's that these are technical or biological systems and then there are social systems of nu nu that prepare nuclear war and then there are psychological systems and psychological systems come different from social systems um, 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 this is almost uh, uh, too complicated and not close to reality you not must go directly to the culprits and that's the reptilians controlling the world mostly the draconian draconis reptilians uh, they want to destroy everything and others are, are fighting against it 
for example, the Tor Nordic uh, and, and, and the Blue. Uh, so um, all this atomic shit is put on humanity from not human entities. And as long as you don't mention them, it will proceed. So that is useless. Useless yet you split up uh, the, those those um, powers in, in the, the terms you j just used. You only hide the real culprits with that. Yeah. So you your your suggestion time. is to be um, com uh, more specific on biological causes. Yeah, you must you must make a research who is in charge on of planet Earth. It's not humans, and the the best source just now, besides David Icke, who who was uh, uh, then twenty five years ago, very good in opening the eyes, but the most details are not just now coming from an Englishman called Simon Parks. Yeah, and I have a lot of um, information about from him on my channel and I made a very important interview with him now in April in, in England about mind control and my colleague from Germany about uh, non-human entities uh, uh, and, and there he is show, uh, telling us who is controlling uh, in the United States, who is controlling in Russia and, 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 and in China. Uh, Russia and China opened, uh, went away from the reptilian control to to other uh, which are called the tall Nordic uh, and um, uh, th they have helped a lot and there are other uh, entities and uh, species also uh, not human uh, uh, helping and interfering so that we don't get a third world war uh, so uh, you, you must pinpoint to those powers who, uh, who really launch all the shit with the atomic weapons and, and so on Okay. Um, you see, Lorraine was going really uh, very seriously about this Iranian bloodlines, and uh, and I was quite shocked about that path. Iranian. Yeah, she was talking about uh, a lot about uh, how what? how you, the bloodlines from Iran, uh, Iran. They are always in all countries bloodlines because. The reptilians are the big masters with genetics, and they uh, succeeded to manipulate humanity about 200,000 years ago genetically, and then uh, 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 had intercourse with humans. This is in the Bible, the, the, the part where, where, where the gods from heaven came down and had, had sex with humans, and it was the Nephilim they started. That means that they can create uh, people or creatures with 50% with uh, human DNA, 50% reptilian DNA, hiding behind human bodies. And uh, this they can do with every race, with Iranians, with black Africans, with Jews, with, with uh, Caucasians, uh, whomever you want. And uh, the, those are the people in power, as the Queen of England, as Hillary Clinton, one of the most famous shapeshifters. Um, uh, and, and those you must pinpoint, and by pinpointing them, they lose power. They only can maintain power if nobody knows about them. Mm. And so you, you solve the atomic problem, because this is totally tied to them. The, the method I'm using is that, as we cannot uh, sort of criminalize any of these uh, because we sort of um, cannot g get into the, their reach mm -hmm. so I don't sort of care much about them <laughs> and I don't want to sort of uh, uh, well that could be a result of mind control yes no 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 wait wait I haven't told it yet you should care and focus on them because the more people know about them uh, the more they lose power that's why David Icke they had this book, The Biggest Secret. If it's not the secret any longer, they lose power. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that. We can, we can talk about them so that it's not a secret, as well as not talk about Jesuits and all sorts of um, yeah, that, dark Jesuits sources. Are one of their tools of their power. Yeah, yeah. 
But the point here is the methodology, how to get our systems into place of our reality so that we can live by our systems, not theirs. Yeah? So the method here would be then <clears throat> that we criminalize their systems without criminalizing themselves. So that the, these creatures that are running uh, the show right now wouldn't be scared of us because we shouldn't be running after them as and bullying and, and blackmouthing them, sort of, you know. Because it's not the most important thing for us to blackmouth them. The most important thing for us is to create our systems that we live by. So that our uh, family, our city, our nation has everything we need. And for that we need all these parameters of the sun model of the bolts in our own control. Yeah? Well, well my, 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 my idea... Uh... Uh, picture of the world is that we all live together, that we live together in harmony with all the other species which are already here and sometimes of course. Before, yeah. before us. And, and, and uh, this we can uh, get if, if everybody knows about anybody and not no secrets any longer. And, uh, so so uh, I wouldn't exclude them uh, from the system you are building. Um. No, 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 it's very inclusive for, for everything. But uh, the method how to sort of... You have to start somewhere and create a good system. Mm. Because it, the good system does not start by black-mouthing the bad system. The good no, no. system starts by creating a good system. Yes. Somewhere, in some little place at least. And, and there you should support Iceland. They are really starting... And well, we support Iceland, but they doesn't help us, you know. Because we need to create right now, right here. Right now, why I am sitting here, and you see right now my private apartment. Though yesterday I was in Science Academy starting this conference... But I'm not anymore in the nice uh, sort of uh, guest house on the beach of the Baltic Sea. Because I am sitting here in my private apartment and with my family shielding it from being taken away from us. Because we don't anymore have any means to pay for it. And half a million of Latvians have left country because the credit... Uh, credit uh, credit banksters have thrown, made their life impossible now, here. Is it your apartment in Sweden or in Latvia? This is in Latvia. Okay. Yeah. So so this is really I am on the barricades to survive for survival of my family, and this is not when I, me blackmouthing reptilians can help and do anything. But it's not blackmouthing, it's informing people so that... No, 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 Henning. This will not help me on the barricades. But, but this method that I'm talking about is helping me. Because what we do, we have developed this method of nine steps. Nine steps. You don't see me, do you? Yeah, yeah. Do no, you see I, me? I don't, I don't see a motion picture. I only see a still picture. Okay. Um... So, uh, so the point is that we have nine steps how to get our um, resources back, the apartments, the houses. It is on the webpage labia.lv, but it's in Latvian, okay? And one of the steps important there is that you just put um, a mark on your apartment or your house or your property that you can't pay anymore for, because everybody is getting bills they can't pay anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. It's everywhere like that. But this is, this is exact methodology. Everybody can use it. You just put a mark on your apartment that you are indigenous person of this country. Yes. And but by the indigenous, de the declaration of the rights of indigenous, you have the right 
to live by the rules of your predecessors. Yes, I have to uh, finish now because I have to make another telephone. Call. Okay, okay, Henning. Th <laughs> thank you for this spontaneous sort of um, um, commitment that you stayed so long. Yeah. And um, uh, anyway, so uh, this is very important that we create our own kingdoms. Where, yeah. And that can be done both in Sweden and in any place. So, ma, so, so it could even be a Baltic Sea regional kingdom. Yeah. Yeah? Start, start one, uh, find the territories, find... People. We have already territories. You just add your apartment to this. Uh, and, and we sort of, we just connect our apartments and our little sort of uh, living places and start, uh, start calling uh, these places for our, for our um, kingdoms. And uh, this is the rights of indigenous, and uh, welcome to it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you will be successful. Thanks, Henning, and uh, have a great uh, prosperity with your fabulous white TV. Thanks mm -hmm. uh, for magnificent work you're doing. Yes, look on it uh, sometimes. YTV.se, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, and uh, okay. bless you. Bye. So let's try and get Lorraine Murray on. Is she still here? No, they have gotten to her line. She can't reach us anymore. Hmm. So. I guess we can say thanks to the fabulous day we had, the fabulous evening. This has been a fabulous, fabulous evening. I'm so happy that uh, Lorraine and Henning were with me today. And uh, this is how we work. This is how we criminalize the systems that have brought us to the risk of nuclear war in our everyday life. And um, Henning's suge suggestion is that we will criminalize also scalar weapons. But generally, it's all co kinds of mass destruction of life on Earth that we will criminalize. We will not live in these systems anymore. And we will create systems that we control ourselves. This will be the time of indigenous kingdoms let it happen. Let it be. In love, Dita, from Latvia. <laughs>